This is how we make magnetic track. So you can see here with this little piece of track I've already attached one magnet to it with the shrink wrap. Now what you want is to make sure that the magnet is covered both on that edge as well as that edge when you're done or the magnets will eventually get loose and fall out. So I've cut some shrink wrap right here that's uh, maybe about half an inch or so. It's pretty simple. Shrink wrap on there. Take a magnet. Insert the magnet under the shrink wrap. And start the shrinking process. What you want to be careful of is that you do not melt the tank track because the heat guns get very, very hot and will melt the plastic. The other thing you want to be careful of is do not get the magnets very hot because they will demagnetize. So when it's done, what you have here is magnets that are adhered to the track completely covered and the rubberized heat shrink will also give it some additional traction. Now on the advanced tank tread kit you get the slotted pieces of track like this and you get this rubberized piece. Now I am just going to be doing every other piece magnetized because I want the additional traction there. Additionally, this slot right here, we have found some magnets that will slide into that slot and be encased right down there. There's three of them. One, two, three. Just lined up. They fit very, very well. Just haven't uh, done any done any actual demonstrations of it yet. Perhaps next week. But that's the way you make the magnetized track. And I've got a lot of track here to make this evening. This track has the small magnets on the side for a, l for a little additional insurance. What I'm going to do is put one of these larger magnets on the track per each track. So there will be four of these larger, much stronger magnets on the track. Now you may, you may want to know, well, why don't you just make the entire track out of these super strong magnets? Well, we have and you cannot turn. You just barely move forward with these large magnets. These larger magnets right here have a 25 pound pull. These smaller magnets right here only have a 6 pound pull. So we've got 6 pounds per side, but this one is crazy strong. Don't make the entire track out of these. It will not work. But we're going to add one track, one little piece of the track with this strong magnet in hopes that it will give us a little bit more additional insurance on keeping from falling. To add this large magnet to the track, you center it right dead in the middle there. Then you add the shrink wrap on the sides. Remember, don't try to make the entire track 
out of these super strong magnets because you won't be able to turn, barely be able to move. So this is what the super strong magnet, 25 pound pull magnet looks like. We have one of these for each section of track. Now we're going to actually assemble the track. The uh, track length, this is the standard track, and so we're going to use this to measure with the uh, magnet magnetized track now. So here we go, we need 29 pieces. I'm going to alternate. The very first one is going to be the 25 pound magnet. Remember, I'm going to put one of these for each section of track. Then I'm going to put the rubberized piece and then I'll put just a normal magnetized piece. 